Go. Hi, uh, I'm going to go over today how to tune and set up the Sidewinder V4. I've come a long way with this machine and my, uh, my latest quest with it has been able to make it easy to tune and um, easy to adjust on the fly. First basic things you need to start with with my Sidewinders is a good firm nipple. Uh, these are a polyurethane nipple. You can get them on AliExpress. Uh, you get like 5,000 of them for about $46. And um, they just don't break down. If you, if you get like the standard you know, soft kind that you get from most of these tattoo supply companies, they just break down too quick. Anyways, you want to put a gentle arc on your needle. You can see how it's just a nice little curve. And then I put, bend a little bit more at the actual solder point there. And the idea is that when you put your rubber band on, it'll pull the needle straight and I have it set to where it's still slightly forward in the tube so that you get a good uh, ink flow and you won't get ink sucking up the tube that way. I uh, made this to where you can use different kinds of rubber bands. The standard number 12 rubber bands, um, you can use two of them. And what I like to do is I'll bring them around here and then you can twist it and go around the motor shell. If you need a little bit more tension, you can go around the binding posts and you can get creative um, uh, if you need to. Uh, it's very important when you set this machine up that you put the rubber bands perfectly straight uh, when you set it up or put them the same way every time. If you bring them up, it's going to reduce the tension on, on the return spring here and it'll actually make the machine hit harder. If you bring them down, it'll make it hit softer. Um, okay, now you can also use a number 27 rubber band. I get some from Uline. Here's the box of them that I get and uh, there's the the part number, it's a number 27 rubber band. These are really good, it's a, it's a pretty uh, good deal. Um, they're a high quality rubber band. With the uh, thick ones here, I'll just take it, go over, over this little um, ridge here, uh, or under the ridge and over this screw, and kind of loop it around like so. Okay, one other thing to keep in mind, is your direction of your clip cord will change the direction of the cam. I prefer the cam and the bearing to go clockwise as it whips the machine down harder. It runs a little bit slower, um, but you know you can adjust the volts just to get it back up to the speed that you want. But um, that's be positive on top when you want it to go clockwise, positive on bottom when you want it to go counterclockwise. Now, right out the gate when you get this machine, the only adjustment you should really worry about, like just to get it where you want it, is the stroke adjustment right back here. I designed this to where there's no locking set screw anymore on it, but it stays put and it has a clicking device. And you can see here, I usually set it up at five volts just to make sure it's running about, you know, it's tattooable around five. This is at 4.7. Now you can turn it in, make it hit harder. You can back it out and it just clicks. So like one click. Two clip, three clip. So backing it out will make it hit softer. Turning it in makes it hit harder. Now, when it's hitting really hard, you get, it can get pretty choppy at five volts and it might spit. But if you want it hard and fast, getting up in the mid six range, seven, it's hitting rock hard and it also stabilizes and you'll probably get less spitting. You might actually break your needle though because it hits so hard it can... I've, I've actually snapped needles before. Um, if I'm using a 14 liner with this machine or 18 or something on tough skin, I might be right around 6.8 volts. And then you can kind of just adjust it how you need to, to be at that voltage range. It's a lot easier to tune these at high volts. There's less finicky than um, 
a little bit trickier if you want to go more as a, a fine liner or um, like a black and gray shader. Um, sometimes, if you got your impact screw adjusted, which is this, I'm going to go over that in a second. This is pretty versatile right now. Like I've, I'm going to just turn that and I've got a nice soft, you know, right in here. Typical voltage range is going to be between five to seven volts. Um, if you want to do more stippling or something, like stipple shading, I'll make it hit pretty hard and I can even turn it down to four and a half, even four, and then just add, you know, back that out more and you get that punch. And what's cool for stippling with this machine is it can run really slow, but it still retracts really fast. So, you know, you can be whip shading with your, like a type five or a three and you won't snag up like you would with maybe a direct drive or something. Now, over time, when your machine goes out of tune, it's probably not going to be this stroke. It's going to be your impact screw. And this is the number one thing. When I'm setting these machines up, the first thing I do is adjust the impact screw. And in most cases, the armature bar needs to be parallel with the frame. And you can adjust this screw. Turning it in is going to raise it up higher. And turning it down is going to lower it. What that does is affects the relationship of this cam with this spring. Um, so turning it in is going to make more interaction to complete the rotation. It's going to flex this spring a little bit. And you want it, um, you want it to wear that cam ideally. When you push the armature bar down and rotate the cam, it's going to be about the 130 position. Maybe even 2 o'clock or 1 o'clock. You need more interaction the shorter you make the stroke to make it hit softer in order to get that magical hit out of it. So. If you want it, if you're going to be running it pretty fast and you want a long throw, you can actually back the impact out to where there's, it's really not um, touching a whole lot. I made a little quick drawing here just to show the relationship of that cam. If if you drew an imaginary line from this from the um, from where the motor shaft is to the outer edge of of the cam, that's the, the 130 position. That's what I'm talking about. Here's the spring right here. Armature bar is pretty much parallel with the frame. Um, hopefully that makes sense. So typically, again, when I'm setting that, I just make sure at five volts with wherever I want to run, it's it's usable. And so if you back out the impact, hopefully it's going to do it. When I start shortening the stroke, it starts getting like that chattery. It's like da, 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 da. Well, what you need to do is just adjust your impact screw. And like I said, over time, that's going to just wear down and it's going gonna, it's gonna to wear in. Oh, eventually, it'll, it'll work hard in this brass and it'll actually just, it won't, it won't settle anymore. So now it kind of took that stutter away. More like shorter strokes, softer hitting in order to still get that nice impact. Um, when you shorten the stroke, you just have to make sure you turn that in if it starts acting weird and it starts stuttering. Now, too much impact is hard on the motor, it's hard on the springs. Um, you get a, the machine's gonna be a lot rougher. It may, that may be your issue of your spitting if you have a spitting issue. So ideally, you just kind of back that out You know, pretty much parallel, like I said. Maybe a little bit below parallel. That's it. It's pretty simple. You pretty much don't have to mess with that. You just, just check it if, if it's acting weird and you're not getting the right tuning with the stroke knob. But really, most of the tuning is going to be right here. And eventually, you just may need to do a little eighth of a turn on that set screw every once in a while if it starts acting weird. Well, I think I covered everything on this machine. Um, I hope you guys like it. Uh, I've poured my heart and soul into it for the last three years of trying to develop this machine to what it is now. So um, hopefully you can get one in your hand. Thanks for watching.